Hello, I'm Lisa Ray Thompson. On behalf of the Ray family, I am honored to have been invited to speak at this year's ADAO conference. My family became involved with the ADAO several years ago after having lost my brother Bob after a nearly 11-year battle with mesothelioma. Bob was exposed to asbestos in about 1965 at the age of 18 while working a summer job at a plant in our hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. He was diagnosed with malignant pleural mesothelioma in 1997 at the age of 50. Bob fought long and hard until mesothelioma took his life in 2008. Bob was a loving father with many friends and family that adored him. However, we know that in spite of Bob's diagnosis, we were fortunate to have him in our lives much longer than original prognosis would have suggested. We believe that this was the result of early detection and aggressive medical treatment. Bob's friends and family grieved deeply at the loss in our lives. However, we all agreed that we could not allow Bob to have died in vain. We had to do something to fight this disease, to try to make a difference, and to raise awareness of the dangers of asbestos exposure. In 2009, we hosted a charity event in the form of a golf tournament and silent auction, netting a sizable contribution for the cause. Since then, we have continued to be active in asbestos exposure awareness and the ADAO. We are currently in the planning stages of another event to be hosted in September 2014. People do not think of this as a Midwestern disease. At the time of Bob's mesothelioma diagnosis, there had been one other known case in the state of Nebraska. As of 2012, there have been 210 deaths in our state related to asbestos exposure. Although the average age of a mesothelioma patient at diagnosis is a, said to be about 60 years of age, we know that it is affecting younger patients each and every day, as seen in some of our very own ADAO family members. I believe it is our job, those of us who have been so sadly affected by this disease, to raise awareness. Linda and the ADAO do an incredible job getting the word out fighting for our right to be heard, bending the ears of those lawmakers and those who have power to make a difference. But it takes a village, so to speak. I am appalled, quite honestly, that this country is still paying massive amounts of money to import asbestos and that we are still using it in our daily lives. People need to know this. We implore all of you to join us in organizing events that will increase the awareness of others. Together, we can be that village. Thank you, and I look forward to working with all of you in the future.